Okay. So, how many years have you been judging? I'm not a judge. I'm okay. actually the lady who worked to bring together the organizations that brought National History Day back to Philadelphia. So, I don't judge. I help make... You know, How long have you been doing it? For the 10, uh, ten years. Wow. Yeah, we started in two, actually 2004. A group came together to, to bring National History Day back to Philadelphia after not being here for 25 years. And we had our first competition in 2005. Ooh. How do you feel about today's competition? Fabulous. Me it's too. a lot of excitement. Yeah. The kids, you know, we do it so the kids have fun. Yeah, it is and, really fun. Yeah, and I will quote you, it is really fun. I yeah. like that. And, you know, my whole thing is education can be exciting and fun. It doesn't have to be boring. And it should also help kids sort of shine and be who they are. Yeah. You know, it's not about just memorizing facts. Ms. Johnson, you want to say anything? Uh, I am very excited. Everything looks very, very nice. I'm truly impressed with what I see. It's very, very good. All the projects that the class has done and that we're actually here in the competition. Well, I think the project this year, I think that they look very good. There's a lot of ingenuity, uh, a lot of creativity. And one thing I like more than anything is the, is the level of group work. That almost every group, most people really did take on their roles and, and contribute to uh, the whole. I look around and look at all the different things and, and see, uh, see what people uh, pull together. Um, and I, what I like also about it is that students even put some money in. They actually bought things to make their board look, uh, look good. And the color, the style, just everything, the historical content, and a lot of people follow the rules that they were given, which is good. So I'm, I'm pleased. I'm very pleased. Guys, without Thurgood Marshall and all the other activists here, like Elise said, me and you probably wouldn't even be best friends, okay? Me and you probably wouldn't even. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is right now. I mean, all of these cases that you did, like, look at that. All right, this case. What is this case called? The Floor in Oklahoma. Okay, and so with this case right here, yeah, they let him into the. First, they denied him, and then he won the case and to go into the school and then after he got into the school they made him sit separately from everybody else. He had to sit outside the classroom, he had to eat separately, he had to do everything separately. He even had to study separately from them. You know? So I mean without this, like could you imagine just like Monty having to sit outside of the classroom to, to do her schoolwork? Most about this trip. Well first of all I've never been to the Constitution Center. It's really been a lot of fun working with all of the students on all the various projects, especially the science-based ones, of course. Of course. Um, and they did a wonderful job, and they are wonderful students to take out into the world and see everything. So are you particularly excited for the Clara Barton project? <laughs> of course. Which one? <laughs> both Clara Barton project and the Ben Carson project. I have to go both. I really like them. Everything looks wonderful. Everybody did a great job, did all the research themselves with very little help from the teachers. So I'm very proud of all of them. I think it's gonna be a good day. Um, I hope you get good up there. Um, honestly, I hope we you did good, but I'm nervous about the judging. I feel like you guys did great on it. And we actually, Today, somebody was left at school. Marky, we got left at So, Where's the judge? Caitlin. Yes. Right next to us. Why don't you guys tell me what was the most interesting thing that you learned about Clara Barton and the Red Cross? Well, one of the most interesting things that I, I think is very interesting that we, I learned about her is that she would actually go out on the battlefield after, um, after a battle was over and look for people that were wounded and still alive. 
and if they were dying, she would give them kind of like a last moment, like, you know, a, a good moment before they passed. And she did that because she would also bring supply carts to the troops, and she tried to help the sanitation of the camps. That's another thing I really want to talk about. Kelly, do you want to tell me what hygiene was like back then? The hygiene back then was really, really bad. There was bacteria everywhere. People kept getting sick from infections and everything. The doctors didn't know what to do. So they they also were were the files, they would use, like, when Claire got to one battlefield, the surgeons were so undersupplied and desperate over work, they were trying to use corn husks as, like, bandages.